What's up guys? I'm Zach Nava of Nava Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. I've got Blake Stewart with me here today. I've been visiting his house and those of you that have been following the channel a little bit, you'll know that Blake's the one that actually designed that awesome logo that I have. Um, so again, thanks Blake for that. Um, but what a lot of you will not know is that Blake again is, a, is actually a reptile enthusiast. So it was kind of part of what made me want to work with him to begin with. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of his collection and this insane room that he has built just for his dwarf and super dwarf articulated pythons. So Blake, you want to tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of what you've got going on here and, and what inspired you to do what you what, what, what we see here? Sure. Well, I mean, first off, this is simply an exercise room for the snakes. Um, as you can see through here, this is where all their actual, uh, you know, PVC enclosures are. Um, the idea with this is to give them time outside of their, uh, their normal cages. So, you know, I take turns with them, you know, each one's, uh, you know, each night putting different ones in here, letting them crawl around, you know, just have fun, exercise, um, you just add in the enrichment instead of just keeping them in a, you know, a small cage all the time. Sure. And, uh, and they love it. I mean, they, they really enjoy it. You know, it's, uh, and just for people that maybe can't get gauge the kind of the size of this room, do you remember the exact dimensions? It's right. a 12 by 12. 12 by 12. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 12 by 12. Um, I mean, there's, you know, the cat tree they can climb on. Yeah. There's uh, the rope ladder, uh, the bars, most of the stuff just bought off of Amazon and you know, kind of put together. Uh, the shelves, you know, just got from Lowe's, drilled some five to five inch holes in them so they have, you know, things to climb through. Sure. And um, you know, they really enjoy it. I mean, it's nice to you know, seeing them move around. It's interesting. Every time you walk in here, they're in a different place. Yeah. So most of the time in the mornings, you know, if I leave them in here overnight, they're curled up on like one of the top shelves. Yeah. So they like to climb up high. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they, 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 they love exploring it. just how thin this rope is and how kind of big around that girl is but she has so much strength in her to be able to wrap around that thin rope and you'll see she will climb her way right to the top um, and so going back to what Blake was saying you know that's really the whole idea behind the, the way that he laid this room out was just to give them the ability if they want to um, you know to climb around and, and, and get that exercise and just use, you know not even really exercise but just use their bodies the way they would in the wild right exactly yeah yeah I mean when they're in cages they don't have the trees the branches the things to climb around so you know this room you know, kind of provides that sure this is just crazy Now I know there's been a lot of people who have actually talked about previously, or they're kind of theorized, if you will, that you know um, the dwarfs and super dwarfs, the dwarfs, super dwarfs specifically, you know, the smaller articulated pythons, and I think a lot of the smaller snake species sometimes um, they have you know uh, issues with um, with actually laying their eggs. You know, sometimes they get egg bound, um, which has you know cost us unfortunately a lot of the the animals, you know, the the, the bloodlines that we used to have in the United States. Um, and I know that it's, it's again been theorized that you know a lot of that ha can be to do with the fact that you know snakes were overweight and maybe didn't have the muscle tone that they have in the wild. So um, do you think that this you know room will you know maybe kind of have some something to do with your future success in breeding these guys? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, the, the the main idea is just you know keeping them happy, you know, adding that enrichment sure. you know, to their lives. Sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if it helps with that also, then that's great. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, guys, this is really just kind of a, a, a playground and, and, you know, an exercise room, if you will, um, you know, that, that these guys get to use. And, and, and Blake's like Blake said, you know, they're he's swapping snakes in here every night. So, you know, all of, all of Blake's animals, his entire collection, um, you know, they all get a little bit of time in here and, uh, and get to kind of explore and, and, and do the things, you know, that they would do in the wild. And I, I like the idea also that, um, you know, he's able to use this larger space um, as an intro, you know, kind of an introduction room. 
uh, for a male and a female, you know, so there's not those cramped quarters that you will, that you'll get in, you know, even like a six foot enclosure, you know, by putting a, a male in and having to really watch them close. Um, I think it's, it's nice that, that they get some distance, but they can still smell each other. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it gets them together so that, you know, it gets them used to each other. Um, this is actually male and this is a female yeah. and the, the plan is hopefully to pair them up together uh, around the end of this year. And um, yeah, when I put them in here together, uh, you know, normally they get real close to each other like this. When they, you know, take their rests or whatever, they'll a lot of the times lay their heads on each other. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they've got this whole 12 by 12 room, yet they still normally get together. That's so, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Blake, I really appreciate you, man. I appreciate you giving me some time and, and allowing me to kind of take a look at this room and, and check out what you've got going on. Um, I know for sure that this is definitely something that's inspired me. Um, I'm going to actually make an attempt when I get back home, I think, to, uh, to try to kind of replicate a little bit of what you've got going on, even in a smaller space. Um, and I'd really like to think that you know, this is kind of the direction that the hobby is going to start headed more towards where, you know, uh, even if you don't have a 12 by 12 room that's, you know, standalone in your house, that... You know, maybe there's some smaller things that, that, that we can be doing uh, just to kind of give these guys a little more enrichment and a little more exercise. Yeah, I mean, even if it's just taking them outside sometimes, letting them crawl around. Sure. You know, if you have a tree that you won't get them lost in or yeah. you have a place that they can climb around on, you know. Um, a lot of people think that with them being larger snakes, not as large, of course, as mainlands, but still larger snakes, that, you know, or snakes don't like to climb that much. I, awesome. I, that's entirely wrong. I mean, sure. they definitely love to climb. Sure. Yeah. So. I mean, even even this, you know, uh, slightly larger girl, she she seems to really enjoy, you know, be able. To, she likes to start start on the ground and, and climb that rope, and, and she mm -hmm. finds her way right back up there and and perches and hangs out and moves around the room. So very cool. Yep. Well, like I said, Blake, I appreciate you for your time, man. I appreciate you letting me check out your room and, and everything else. And uh, you know, we'll see you guys soon. This is just too freaking cool. Like I I can't get over this.